Hello everyone, it's Chantal from Crow Chantal and welcome to this video where I will be sharing 30 plus free amigurumi fall and Halloween themed patterns. So the first five designs that I will be sharing are technically all my own, but I am very proud of them, which is why I am including them in this video. So first up on the list is this adorable pumpkin. I have a tutorial on how to crochet any size pumpkin. As you can see, I've already taken the liberty to make basically every single size pumpkin there is. And then the second pattern is this spooky eyeball. It's completely no so other than putting the veins on the eyeball. I really like it. It's super beginner friendly. And then third up is this skull. Once again, no so other than the detailing on the mouth. Super easy. Once again, perfect for beginners. And then number four is this bone pattern. I think this could be perfect for Halloween costumes. You can put it, sew it to your arm like that, or you could even put it on top of your head like that one girl from the Flintstone, if, if you know what I'm talking about. Final pattern of mine that I'll be sharing is this floppy hat witchy cat. This was actually the second pattern that I ever released, and that last pattern was the only one that I have available on my Instagram. The rest are all in YouTube tutorial format. All of them will be linked in the iCard. And now getting onto patterns that aren't mine, we are just going to dive straight in. So the first one is the free mod for the Hallow Bees by n.y underscore arts on Instagram. They are mods for her draw bee re pattern on her page. So go check this out. Perfect, especially if you're market prepping. And then going on to pattern number seven, we have a pattern by Mary Mac Hooks on Instagram. It is an adorable spooky spider pattern. It looks super simple. I haven't tried it yet, but I will be once I finish recording this video because it is so cute. And then moving on to number eight, nine, and 10, I believe they are all done by the same designer over my dead stitches. So the first one is this free pattern for ghosty hangers, which you can put like your vehicle in the rear view mirror or just hanging up in your room. And then for pattern number nine, also by over my dead stitches is the pumpkin bear pattern, which is so cute. I'm absolutely Absolutely obsessed. And then the third and final pattern by Over My Dead Stitches, pattern number 10 of this video, we have Harry the Werewolf, which seems to be of a similar style to the pumpkin bear. So if you're trying to look for some consistency in your designs, definitely consider checking those ones out. So all of Over My Dead Stitches patterns are available on Instagram. Moving on to pattern number 11, we have the super simple candy corn design by Mom Stitch Eddie. Super easy, super simple. I might be making some of these and using them as little treats for kids on Halloween. I feel like that could be a really fun idea. Then for pattern number 12, it is by Coco Pineapple FR on Instagram. It's this super cute zombie-ish Frankenstein-ish cat. It's super cute. I love the color combinations that were used, so definitely consider checking that one out. Katie Crochet 0603. I could not believe that this was a free pattern when I found it. It's this super cute clown design, so definitely consider trying this one out should be at the top of your list because it's amazing. And then moving on to the next pattern, 1415. Uh, it is by Therapy on My Hook, once again on Instagram. It's this adorable little pumpkin dragon, just a dragon sitting in a pumpkin. That's all you need. Now we have a pattern by Christie's Spooky Crochet. Fits perfectly for this video. It's a trick-or-treat free pattern. It's like a, I don't know how to describe it. You know what it is. You know the vibe. And this next one is a bit more fall-ish, not necessarily Halloween-ish, of a pattern. It is by JM Adorable Plushies. It's a chubby owl. I think it's super cute and it's definitely at the top of my list, so I'd love to see you guys check it out as well. Then going back into Halloween, I should have organized this better, I feel like, but going back into a Halloween pattern, I have these ghost pillows. So if you're not into the tiny designs like a mini pumpkin, you can totally get behind this pillow. Perfect for your room, perfect for living room decor basically anywhere in the house you can put these ghosty pillows in. That pattern is by Morning Glory Homespun and In Stitches by Nikki on Instagram. Then the next one is this super cute skeleton bear pattern. It is by A Piece of Cuteness on Instagram. So I believe you can find the pattern on their Kofi. If not, you can just zoom in on the Instagram post itself because it has all of the pattern details there. Then another bear pattern. We have a pattern by Cozy Hobby Room. It's Teddy the Ghost Bear. I think it's super cute. I kind of want to try it. I can't make videos like this because I just want to try all the patterns. Then moving on to the next one, we have a pattern by Vanilla underscore Gurumi and it's little chubby Frankensteins. Then by Kelvin Crochets on Instagram, we have another pattern of a creature in a pumpkin, and this time the creature is a frog. 
And I know everyone is obsessed with frog crochet patterns, so this is the perfect combination for Halloween. And then by Yarn Goals on Instagram, they have a lot simpler of a design, but it kind of matches well with the candy corn design I mentioned earlier in this video by Mom Stichetti. It is a tiny lolly pattern, which could also be the perfect choice for giving out as an extra treat for trick-or-treaters on Halloween. Now we have yet another creature in a pumpkin. It is by Benjova underscore handcraft on Instagram. It's these cute little pumpkin kitties, and it looks like the one kitty has wings, which is so cute. So definitely consider checking that one out. Now we are doing another more fall-themed pattern. It is a mushroom. It is by Pengarumi Crafts on Instagram. It is a little mushroom inside a pumpkin. I think that's the theme. We just like things in pumpkins, I guess, maybe. Here we have another free pattern collab. It is... I'd say it's more Halloween-ish than fall-ish. It is by Shy Livska underscore crochet and Lindo.393979. It is a mermaid pumpkin girl, which I think is so cute. Definitely super unique. I've never seen anything like this. So if you kind of want something to stand out at a market, consider trying this pattern. And then moving on to yet another more fall-themed-ish pattern. It is by Crochet Crochet. And if you haven't followed her already, you need to because she has so many free pattern designs on her Instagram. It's amazing. I've personally used a lot of them. I actually already made this pattern too. It is a no so mushy, crushy design. It's a poppable mushroom, which I think is so cute, so unique, and kind of unexpected. And then another pattern by Crochet Crochet. This is actually a collab with Edgar the Octopus on Instagram. It is another owl pattern. I think it's a bit smaller, but it's also no so. So if you're into no so patterns, consider checking this one out. Then I think, okay, this is the last one by Crochet Crochet. It is in collaboration with Stitch and Stuff and Orange Dong Crochet on Instagram. It is a butt earnut squash. I actually helped test this pattern when it was released. I think it was one of the first pattern tests that I did like ages ago. It's just a little butternut squash with butt cheeks and I'm like, so cute. And here we have another spider pattern in case maybe the first one wasn't your style. It is by Manolo Shop on Instagram. It is Spoo the Spider, which I think is so cute. It's a bit, definitely a bit of a different design than the first one that I showed. So if you're looking for some options and diversity in the designs, try checking this one out. And then the next two are done by the same designer, Tinkering Crochet over on Instagram. The first one is a little ghost in a pumpkin, keeping up with the creatures in a pumpkin theme, which is super cute. And then the second one is just two little ghost buddies. And the one has a little witch hat. So if, and if you kind of want to diversify things a bit, then try out this pattern. And then rounding off the video, the last two patterns are both by one of my good friends, one of my good crochet friends, uh, One Cent Crochet, or Penny, if you like to call her by her real name. Uh, the last two designs that I will be sharing are hers. And they're this adorable ghost pattern, as well as this free bat tutorial. The ghost pattern is available on her Instagram in written format, and the bat pattern is available in YouTube tutorial format. So that was all of the patterns, all 30 plus. I should probably count how many it actually was. Future Chantel, write right here what it was. Thank you so much for watching, and for any of the patterns that I listed in this video, please be sure to go to those creators and give them some appreciation for the time and effort that they put into their designs. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my free tutorials, which I will link again in the iCard here. I work really hard to try and get these tutorials out to you guys at a somewhat constant pace. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, I really quite enjoyed like collecting all of the patterns and searching through Instagram because I was exposed to so many creators who I'd never seen before, which I hope it's the same for you. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.